Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Adding a fact section to your Shopify store is a great way to provide your customers with helpful information and improve their shopping experience. In this video, we will show you how to add an FAQ section to your Shopify store, step by step. Let's dive in. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, first of all, what I will need you to do guys is simply go ahead and launch your browser. Right after that, go ahead and click into the URL section over here in whatever browser you are using and search for Shopify. Here we go. And let me just remove this PNG. And here it is. So this is the website that we are going to use. Now let me just go and add English so we have the English website and the version of it. And here it is over here. So all I'm going to do is click on it. Now this is the website and for us to actually have a store all we need to do is click on one of these start free trail button. So there is one over here and the other is in the top right corner of the page. So let's try and click on it. Here they will give us like a question and answers. So you have to answer some question of theirs. First of all, they will ask us which of these best describes you. For me, I'm just starting. Then click on next. Where would you like to sell? For example, there is an online store, an existing website or blog, social media, online marketplaces, in person. Here you can click if you're not sure yet where you want to sell. For me, I'm going to choose and pick an online store. Let's go to here and click on next. Now, what do you plan to sell first? Products I buy or make myself, digital products, dropshipping products, services, print on demand products, or I will decide later. So let's click on I will decide later for now because I'm not sure yet. And now let's give our store a name. So here let's name it for example, tutorial video. Let's wait until they check everything and they give us the authority to use it and then click on next. Now let's choose the region, next again. And finally here we have to create the Shopify ID. The Shopify ID is used like to log into your account. So you can log in using an email and password, Apple ID, Facebook or even Gmail account. For me I'm going to use Gmail account because it is easier for me. So let's click in here, then let me pick my Gmail account. And here I am. Now they are building our store and it can take between 10 to 40 seconds maximum. It is not that long and don't worry guys, the dashboard is pretty easy to use. It is so simple and I will take you through it step by step. So don't worry about anything. Here as you can see, you have your free trade that will be ended at 9th of April so make sure to get your premium version of, Sh of Shopify uh, before 9th April because your shop will be extended and closed the, f the, the premium version will cost you only one dollar so it is not expensive at all now let's start with installing the application so now what I will need you guys to do is simply go to app section and click on add apps. Now go ahead and click on Shopify app store from here in the bottom and then it will take you to a new page. Here all I will need you to do is write FAQ and then you will find here a bunch of options of different kind of applications or plugins that you can use in order to do that. One of them there is this Avada WhatsApp chat FAQ page. If I want to click on it, I will show you real quick how it will look like in your website right here. So this is how it's going to be looking like and about us, something like that. So this is like a Vada questions. So here you will have some question and finally this is the FAQ section. 
So all you need to do is click on it and you will find all the questions that will be in your store over here. And if you click on it, you will find the answers of them. So how we can use that in our website, all you have to do is click on add app. And now let's just wait and they will take us to a page where we're going to install it. So click on install app and that will be it. Now just wait until the screen line fills until the end and you will be able to do everything from customizing and adding this plugin to your page. So here it is and this is how it looks like. So let's start with set up our FAQs pop-up. So let's click here. This is the domain, contact email, contact number, WhatsApp, contact page, etc. So next step, this has to be required. So I'm going just to fill it simply from like a fake number. So let's do something like that. Next step. And here we go. Now the widget is going to look something like that. So we can change the color itself to whatever color you'd like that matches with your website. You can use whatever color as you can see here. Uh, just move it and pick the color that you'd like to use. So let's pick for example this one. Here I'm going with this one. And where do you want it to be? So you want it to be in the bottom right or bottom left. So let's make it in the bottom right. And finally click on next here. Now. We're gonna go to the next step. So here, all we're gonna do is simply uh, is now disabled on your storefront. So let's enable it first. And now let's choose the theme. So there is the light theme, the dark theme, the basic theme. I'm going with the light theme because it is simple and good. So heading, this is the heading frequently asked questions. So go a qu got a question we are here to answer. So this is simply it. Here this is like the template that you can actually change it later on. So click in here to finish. Now we have finally created it successfully. Here it is and now total questions and so all is here. So let's view all FAQs. So these are the questions that it came with the plugin by default. So what you can do is simply delete all of them. So let's wait. Here we go. Delete. Delete. And finally delete the last one. So this is the last one. And now let's add the question. So for example, where can I find your store? Here you will find the answer. So in Spain, for example, click on save. And if I clicked in here, how can we assist you? This is like the support of the website. This is how it's going to look like. So in your website, it's going to be a blue pop up with this with like uh, integration mark over here so all you need to do is click on it and then you will find this question with the answer that i have written for it with it i mean here you can add featured if you'd like to um, you can add categories from here so as you can see here there is the order shipping category extends and return you can add your own category from here as you can see you can add an icon to it or without an icon you can view more if you had like the premium version add more icons to here but anyway this is overall how you can do it so yeah guys this is basically it this is how we can set up your FAQ page and shopify i hope you like this video if you had any questions please make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will answer all of your questions and see you guys in the next video